This is the lock picking lawyer. The ACE branded mortise cylinder you see here is a challenge lock that was sent to me by Dan in Chicago. So we are going to try to pick it open and then I'll take it apart and see what sort of nasty pins that Dan put in there to trip me up. I'm using top of the keyway tension with this 50 thousandths pry bar and a standard hook. It's a pretty open keyway, looks like a quick set keyway. So let's see what we can do with this. One's loose, two's loose, three is loose, but a little bit rough. Okay, something out of four, got a click there. Two clicks, still a little springy, but I'm not gonna force it right now. Okay, five, got two clicks out of there and he went springy again. Probably some sort of spool. Nothing from one, nothing from two, nothing from three. Let's see, and four, I just released tension because I think I might have overset him. Then I just touched five and we dropped much deeper into our false set. Okay, got a click out of one. Okay, two, getting good counter rotation. Set him. Nothing from three, nothing from four or five, back to one. Getting a little bit of feedback on him. Okay, got another click out of him. He appears to be set. Nothing on two. Okay, three is giving me feedback but not moving. Not sure what that is. Might be a threaded chamber. That's oftentimes what a, yep, and we got her open. It's so oftentimes what a threaded chamber will do is stop it from moving. Even though you can feel feedback and what you have to do there is really, really let off the tension, sometimes even manually counter rotate it. Okay, let's uh, let me adjust the angle on this. And then we'll gut her and see what's inside. I do not have a key for this lock but Dan assured me that it actually worked in the accompanying letter, and it indeed does. Okay, looks like actually all of the chambers are threaded. Let's drop these key pins out. Okay, one is serrated, two is serrated. 3 is serrated, 4 is serrated, and 5 is serrated. And looks like 4 and 5 have beveled tops to them, but all of them are serrated, and all 5 of the of the chambers in the plug are, are threaded. Okay, number 1, homemade deep serrations, almost like a, a multi-spool. A spool looks like homemade little like concave spool um, which is pretty rough in the center which makes counter rotation hard a really nice looking multi I think it was actually in that way multi uh, serration pin okay another homemade spool with a concave center and another homemade serrated pin. And let's see, I don't see any threading in the Bible. Let's just take a look at the springs. All the springs are the same, so nothing, nothing much there. Okay, let me give you a close up of these, these really, really nice homemade pins. Okay, as we can see, all of the key pins have homemade serrations in them. Let me zoom in on four and five because they have beveled tops which tend to give you feedback even when the pins are set. It can be very, very deceptive. And then on the driver pins, let's see, three and five are homemade serrated. One is a, I guess a multi-spool almost, but not really sure what to call that. And then two and four are concave 
spools with rough centers that really affect our counter rotation. Looking over to the plug, you can see all of the chambers are threaded, which definitely trips us up when we're, when we're putting tension on it. So, Dan, looks like you did a really great job on these pins. Thanks for sending this my way. I'll send it along to someone else so more people can enjoy it. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.